guess where this Floridian girl is going, y'all? Alaska. Not, not really Alaska, but I'm going to Maine. up you guys it's yes and welcome back to another weekly vlog so as you can see i'm looking very crusty dusty busted disgusting because i don't wake up this early it's actually now 10 17 um which i know you're probably like yes come on be for real but if you don't know i'm a night shift nurse and baby's sleep schedule is all messed up so this is a lot for me. Like you can definitely see, you can hear it in my throat. I, it's giving smoker's cough. So, <clears throat> but I am up for good reason because we're having a Friendsgiving. This is actually my first ever Friendsgiving. So I'm super excited about that. I'm in charge of the turkey wings and the mashed potatoes and the pressure is getting what's up because I don't know why like, I don't want to be the dish that be like, oh, who made these turkey wings? Who made the mashed potatoes? Like mashed potatoes I'm not too worried about. But the turkey wings, like because turkey is like the main thing of Thanksgiving. I don't know why I felt so ambitious, but here we are. So I'm actually going to run to Publix because I got everything I needed to cook the, like cook the food, but I didn't get the bins, like the aluminum bins to actually cook it in. So I got the ingredients, just don't got the things to hold it so what I'm gonna do is um, just start prepping my turkey wings so they can kind of marinate for a little bit while I go do like go grab the bin and then come back and cook but yeah oh I am so rude first of all welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across my channel welcome my name is Yaz I am a registered nurse located in Florida we are working on our consistency but when we show up we show out period so yeah that's what we're doing um excuse the crustiness um you know the glow up is pending will be cute in a few hours so yeah let me get started on that because i was actually supposed to get up at 8 and then i pushed it to 9 30 and then i pushed it to it's 10 o'clock you see where i'm at so let's get started all right let's go i got my turkey wings mm-hmm and yeah, I felt like I was really in my auntie bag because I went to a meat market because I didn't really know where to get them. I'm gonna be honest, this is my first time making these. I made them before, but I bought like a small pack from Publix because it was really just to cook for me and like one other person, <clears throat> excuse me. But I never made them like a bunch. So I was like, I can't go to Publix. I don't know if they slice up your meat. Like I'm gonna have to get in my auntie bag. So I went to a meat market and I found my turkey wings and I had them slice them in half for me and I felt very grown. Like I'm like, yeah, like I do this. Like I'm looking at all like the older folks that's in the meat market at 8 a.m. because I left literally after I got off of work in the morning. And you know, like let me get my turkey wings cut in two, boo. So I don't know. I don't know if y'all coming coming where I'm coming from, feeling where I'm coming from. But that felt very like monumental. Like I'm getting grown, like I'm really grown. And we are back, a new woman, okay? Cause I told y'all the globe was pending. But so it is now like 3.58. I wanted to leave by 3.30, but my turkey wings was not tender. So <clears throat> I let them sit a little bit longer. So yeah, these are the mashed potatoes. I'll actually show you guys whenever I get there because I already packed up. So those are the potatoes. I put the little butter there so when we warm them up, they look like, you know, you know. And they smell really good. And then the turkey wings, I'm not gonna open up because I literally just put fresh aluminum foil on them. But these are the tray. This is the tray, I mean. And yeah, the only thing that I want to improve on with those, because the flavor is really, really good. But the turkeys produced a lot of oil, like a lot of fat. And I literally did not put no kind of cooking oil. Like I barely put a little bit when I like marinated and tossed my meat. That's the only oil I put in there. So I don't know why it's so much. I guess the turkey just produces a lot of oil. I don't know. So I tried to skim it out the best I can. I'm very much like a visual eater as well. So it kind of bothers me because like I said, the pressure is what's up. I don't want nobody talking about my turkey wings like, ew, they had all that oil. Like, uh-uh, girl. Cause don't even do that. 
so that's what we're doing i need to leave right now because we're starting to think that for run a little bit behind about 40 minutes away so yeah i will take you guys along with me we'll see where the night goes or day goes because we might go out um but yeah i'm hoping i don't smell like food because i try to like shower and get myself together after we were done doing this but obviously i had to come back and keep opening the turkey wings up so i hope i don't smell like that but yeah so that's what we're doing i'm gonna straighten up the kitchen a little bit get trina settled and then hit the road i will update you guys whenever we get to the friendsgiving <laughs> SJ Rocker. because I'm not a speech giver. So y'all, I'm saying a speech, but somebody gotta say the prayer and bless the food. That's not gonna be me. I can bless Jessica got it. Y'all So my speech is, y'all, we're here together, all of my friends for Friendsgiving. Thankful for all of you guys. And we're gonna have a good ass time tonight. So cheers to a good night before we even start eating the food. we waiting on him. Everybody's in. Come on, y'all. Uh, cheers to a good night, good vibes. We're gonna get the games later. I just didn't feel like crossing the street again. But we're gonna have a good night. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. More life, more success. Cheers. Shit. Somebody send me that, guys. Yeah. I feel like all this not in them. We made it to Friendsgiving. We're just waiting on a ham and then we're gonna eat. Oh, I'm gonna do but yeah, it's so cute in here. Why do you have those in your bag? This is my favorite candy. Let me taste it, Nika. This is Nika drink. What is it though? Um, blue raspberry lemon lemon drop. I do have like a little announcement for you guys, but I'm not gonna shoot it right now. But my friend got me a bouquet to kind of congratulate this little milestone. So yeah, I'm gonna go into detail for just not right now. guys so the last time you guys seen me was at Friendsgiving it was a success we had such a good time um but it is actually Thanksgiving now I have on my grown and sexy little you know get up for Thanksgiving 
Um, but I think I'm gonna change. I feel like it's a lot because we're gonna be outside. So I think I might change, but this was the original idea. But yeah, so for Thanksgiving, I ended up, poor my ankle, I ended up making the mashed potatoes that I made for Friendsgiving because they came out really good. I got lots of compliments on those. So I made those to take to my uncle's house. And then I also made a pasta salad per their request um, because they like the pasta salad that I make. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I can show you guys my potatoes, ignore my coffee cup. But I made a bigger batch this time because all the potatoes were gone when we did Friendsgiving. So I was like, let me make a bigger batch. And I didn't have like an idea of how many people were going to be at my uncle's. Let me prop y'all up on something. It ain't propping. Prop you up on a spray bottle. That's risky business, but we're going to vibe. Okay. That kind of worked. So. are the mashed potatoes very yummy oh they smell so good y'all let's close that back up let me just sit you down real quick but yeah so that is what we're doing right now i'm actually gonna just i might keep this shirt on but i might put on jeans and I'm going to get up out of here. I just wanted to kind of update you guys since I hadn't spoke. But yeah, so happy Thanksgiving. I pray that you enjoy your loved ones if you're spending this Thanksgiving alone. I pray that you enjoy your peace. You get you a good meal in your stomach, whether it's takeout, whether it's just a comfort food. Um, you know, I love Thanksgiving. This is my absolute favorite holiday because one, my back is big. Two, I just love like just being around family and just eating and enjoying each other's company. So I pray all you guys have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you guys um, next time I get on the vlog. So yeah. Oh, and then also I have the pasta salad. Don't look like much right now, but it is good. Um, I'm not going to open it up, but whenever I get there, I'm going to add some extra dressing. And yeah, I added um, pepperoncinis in there this time, which I usually never do. But I just, y'all know, I've been on those pepperoncinis real bad. So I just had to throw them in there so I can just, you know, have some whenever I serve my food. But yeah, so potatoes, pasta salad, let's get out of here. All right, so what is up, you guys? It's yeah, I'm back. Looking, you know, the drill, busted, dusted, crusty, disgusting, per usual. Um, it's Friday, it's the first of the month, and I haven't seen you guys since I had Thanksgiving dinner, so that was like a week ago or so. I have been really busy because, as you guys can see by the title, I quit my staffing job. I am no longer a staff nurse. I decided to take a leap and travel. So here we are, this is the announcement. I know I kind of alluded to it a little bit at Friendsgiving when my friend um, got me a beautiful, beautiful bouquet that was just like nurse bay with like a plane um, because I did tell them that I was leaving. But yeah, so surprise, that's what's going on. Um, I know if you guys are like an OG to my channel, you're probably surprised because I made it very clear that travel nursing is something that I never really had intentions on doing. Um, just for the simple fact that I'm one of those people who like, once I'm comfortable, not saying that I don't push myself, but like when I'm comfortable and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I'm enjoying my space and I'm content, then I don't feel the need to go travel. And in my head, I've always looked at it as like an inconvenience. Um, but as you guys know, um, I was PRN. So I wasn't full time because um, I like PRN. I like being able to have like flexibility in my schedule. Since I've been a nurse in the hospital, I've been PRN. When I went to ICU, I went full time and then I went back PRN. But the difference between the floor PRN and ICU PRN is that the floor you're always needing like a nurse. And ICU, a lot of times our units would be full, so they wouldn't need me. So I found myself getting called off a bunch. If you guys watched my last vlog, you've seen it in real time where I was dressed for work, 
telling you guys, yeah, I'm about to go. And then I was like, actually, never mind. They called me off. So that kind of was like my triggering factor to wanting to go travel. I feel like at the time, like, I'll say like whenever you're finishing nursing school, a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm finishing nursing school and I have intentions on getting my experience and then going to travel. That's never been me. Um, I think a lot of it is because like I really worry about like my patient safety and you know my license safety as well um, and I always felt like if I wasn't comfortable enough or like confident in myself enough I don't want to take my lid somewhere else and travel and tear up somebody's facility like that's what I never want to do when I first finished nursing school that's when COVID was hitting like COVID hit when I was still working at the LPN but then it got really bad and I was now working in the hospital as an RN and a lot of people who got hired with me actually took a travel assignment and I had lots of like opinions about situations I'm just like that's just not that's negligence and I don't care how much money I'm making I'm not gonna go somewhere and have barely any knowledge and call myself taking care of people during a crisis even though they came back and it seems like it was fine but to each of them so I've always just been really hesitant in traveling just solely off of me and my confidence and just not wanting to hurt patients like just simple as that so whenever I started getting called off a bunch I was like well you know I've been a nurse for like three years now um or honestly maybe going on four years because I've been at LPN I was at LPN for a year so you know but as an RN working in the hospital setting going on three years and um i feel pretty confident in myself um i feel like i'm out of that whole new grad vibe where i'm scared to ask questions or you know just anything like that like i know where to find my resources at now i know you know how to you know speak my needs voice my concerns and i think when you are traveling that's something that you definitely need to have because you're stepping into a new facility where you're not familiar with the people they probably have a whole other culture like these hospitals have their own cultures um and mind you people are not always nice to travel nurses i've heard simply because you know you walk in their territory their staff they're here for sure three days a week getting paid you know just the basic wage that they get paid while you trolley in here with your figs and your starbies <laughs> and yeah even though like we got travelers at my hospital and they were gang like we had a good time like i still talked to a few of the travelers but it just depends on i guess where you're going um so yeah um that's really why i made the decision so my last day was actually let me look at my phone um my last shift was, shift was last friday so the 24 was my last shift and I will insert a few clips um, here because I have the most amazing amazing crew like me leaving this job was not because I wasn't happy um, or I was ill-treated I really did love the girls that I work with um, you know I do have intentions on coming back if like you know traveling just isn't the right fit for me like after this contract is over I would be more than happy to come back and <laughs> do my job um, so I don't want to do that I don't want to give the negative connotation that oh I got treated so poorly in my staff job like I will say when I worked as a step down neuro med surge nurse I was overworked I was pretty unhappy um, but once I switched over to ICU, after I got through those growing pains, like I grew to really love the women um, and men that I worked with. Um, I've never been so supported and so loved um, in a work setting. It really felt like a family had each other's backs on that unit. Um, and they actually did a going away party for me. And you know what's so crazy <laughs> is I was going to call in because I, I won't say I'm a procrastinator because I am to a certain extent but the last vlog that you guys seen when i got called off literally like that next day i was like i need to i need let me look at travel assignments what's out there and i spoke to a recruiter next day um she was like okay we can submit you to some jobs and then um i emailed my manager letting her know that like hey just a heads up i'm thinking about traveling 
and then like the next day i got the job and then i had to go back and tell my manager i was leaving it was just very very quick and it didn't help that thanksgiving was coming up so because of the holidays it was like closed for you know half of that week so i had to really rush on getting my paperwork done and i am traveling through aya um i have the most amazing recruiter she's actually a good friend of mine um so if you guys are travel nurses and are interested in getting a contract through aya um definitely look in my bio i will put her name down there and her contact email so you guys can reach out she's amazing um and let her know that I sent you. I accepted the job and then I need to have everything done and submitted within like a week and a half because my start date was in two weeks. So that's why I have been missing in action. Like literally Friendsgiving was probably a day after I got the okay, you're going. So y'all, I've been wanting to sit in front of you guys and update you guys about this milestone, but your girl has not even had the time to do that. So yeah. Um I showed you guys a little bit yesterday. I have tons of stuff in front of me because the original plan was to drive. Oh, I never said where I'm going. Guess where this Floridian girl is going, y'all? Alaska. Not, not really Alaska, but I'm going to Maine. And if you are familiar with, is it geography? Because I'm not. I don't even know exactly where I was going. But I'm going to Maine, and that is right under Canada. It's literally at the very tip, tip, top. Now tell me why I would do that. Mm, I don't know. However, I do actually have family who moved over there not too long ago. So I'll be around, you know, at least someone, people that I know. And that was the only benefit. And when I was looking, the contracts in Maine were actually much better than contracts that I had been seeing, like as far as rate wise. So if you guys are interested in the main area, go check out the main area, girl. Maybe we can link up or whatever. But yeah, so I am going to freaking Maine. And that is like a 20-something hour drive from Florida, from like my area in Florida. And my cousin was supposed to um, fly in today on the 1st. And then we were supposed to like drive back to Maine on Monday. He's actually drove from Maine to Florida before. So he was like, oh, bet. Like we can do it, da, da, da. Girl, why? I laid in bed yesterday mind you I've been super anxious super anxious and I'm like trying to relax I'm tossing and turn I said you know what let me check on my cousin let me see like you know confirm what time he's check getting here tomorrow why well, I text him and he said he ain't coming no more y'all see how I had this little drawer uh, stocked up with stuff I can't take that on no plane so now I have to literally regroup everything regroup literally everything and condense myself down to two check bags and then yeah even though i should be fine like i said i'm from florida i'm going to maine none of my clothes are appropriate nothing i own is appropriate for maine weather so i'm literally going to just pack the warmest stuff that i do have which isn't much and then whenever i get over there i'll just have stuff ordered to the house that i'm staying at so today i'm going to just condense my packing a little bit more um i have a few errands to run today my mom just got here i seen her pull up and yeah that's what we're doing i just want to take a moment to kind of thank all of you guys whether this is the first video that you came across or if you're an og um just for tuning in and then also i really want to thank my ogs because i feel like me sitting here documenting this part of my journey just means so much because i remember when i pulled out this camera saying hey i have my first nursing orientation day and it's just like such a full circle experience, especially because I didn't expect myself to be traveling. Um, and it's just kind of a beautiful thing to see like my growth and to have so many people who support me that don't even know me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to take you guys along this journey with me. Um, you know, as I gain knowledge, I share with you guys. So if you guys have any questions, of course, reach out to me as always. But yeah, so that's what we're doing, y'all. Baby girl's going to Maine. Put my coat on and shit me off. Period. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the Cause who is going in this weather? Like I am so baffled with myself that this is actually happening. Cause I really was like, oh heck no. But girl, heck yes, because you getting on this plane tomorrow. So I basically finished packing. I feel like I'm forgetting everything, but it is what it is at this point. I weighed one bag. We should be good with that one. 
And then I have one open right here, which I guess I can show you guys. I mean, I've showed you guys three days in a row these open bags. <clears throat> but I just have to add my makeup, perfumes. I think that's it. Like I said, we don't know. Huh? Oh, and my skincare stuff. My mom's right here in my business. But yeah, so that's what we're doing, guys. The countdown is getting real. Guys, so as you see, I made it back home. I got dressed. When I tell you that was the longest silk press of my life, like, baby took forever. But the bob is bobby. Honestly, my bob isn't even a bob anymore. Okay, let's grow our hair back together. But anyway, so my inches are coming back and I'm super happy about that. But I came home, I got ready, and it is 7.52, reservations are at nine, so we're on great timing. Um, and it's really hitting me right now. Like, I am about to leave. Like, this is my last time dressing in these kind of clothes <laughs> because Lord knows it's cold, like cold over there that I probably won't be getting cute anytime soon. My last time, like, in you know my apartment right now my last time with my boo because y'all know i don't know if i told you guys but i'm not bringing trina with me so i'm starting to feel it now i it just makes me feel sad because i know that she doesn't know what's going on but yeah so this is what i decided to put on today um just a simple little outfit i have this cute little one sleeve uh bodysuit from fashion nova and then i have i don't know if you guys can see i have on these like leather pants from H&M and then I have on my black booties from I want to say Fashion Nova they're pretty old I've had them for a few years and then per usual black Balenciaga bag um, I have on some silver like chunky hoops I think these are from Fashion Nova if they're not from Fashion Nova they'll be from Amazon if they're from Amazon I'll link them down below and then I have on this bangle which I'm trying to figure out, do I like it on this arm? Like this arm, or should I put it on the arm with the sleeve? Like, what y'all think? Sleeve, like, is that giving, I don't know, I don't know, so. I feel like because it has a sleeve, it flows, but then I also feel like because it has a sleeve, put it on the other arm, so I don't know. By the time you guys see this, I've been a lot of the door. That is it for this video. Um, if you guys got to this point, stop what you're doing. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm so excited to take you guys on this new journey with me. Um, I don't know what's coming. And I'm just, we'll see where this goes. Like I said, my bags are packed. When I get back tonight, I'm going to pack up my makeup, my face wash. And yeah, then you guys will see me in Maine. My first day is actually Wednesday. So I land tomorrow and the very next day is my first day at work. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so, 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 so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.